since its premiere, I should say, last October. I'm like, wait a minute, it's not October. I know I'm tired. It's not October. What month are we in? May? Yeah. I'm yes. looking at you for reassurance. <laughs> May. We're in May. Fire Country is TV's number one new show. The first season finale airs tomorrow night on CBS, and we have an exclusive clip. Take a look. I failed my drug test yesterday. You did what? It's not what you think. No, no, no. You looked me in the face and you told me you were going to stay clean. I am. We want to believe you, okay? Just to help us understand. There's a guy sleeper. No, I'm, no, I can't. I can't. I can't listen to the lies and the excuses. I again. promise you, it's not. No, Cody. This is the addiction all over again. No, I don't want to hear about some other guy. You tell me about you. I'm trying. I My, can't do this again. I can't. I was set up. Wait, hold on. We were whispering during that clip. You've never seen the clip? I've never seen it. What? I've never seen the finale. Oh, my gosh. Oh my okay, gosh. That's joining that's me wow. now is the star of the hit show. <laughs> that was who you were looking at, Diane Farr. What did you think of your performance, my dear? It's a little exciting. <laughs> I hate fighting with Max. So um, that was like, oh, look, it's working. And it's really bright and sunny, which is good. It's raining a lot in Vancouver. Uh, so I did watch the finale. You're phenomenal. Okay, you. and I know I can't give a lot away, obviously. I was texting my producer like what can I say what can I say so I'm just gonna let you tease it but I can say it was intense it made me feel kind of emotional at certain mm -hmm. certain points um, there was a lot going on I think I'm kind of teasing that it that it's a very good episode thank you so can you give us any specifics um, it does everything that a finale is supposed to <laughs> you know true. like there's a lot of hangers and there's a lot of twists and turns um, it's a Bruckheimer show, right? So we kind of make a Bruckheimer movie every week. There's a massive mudslide and lives are lost. And my little triangle, the Leone triangle of Vince and Sharon and our son Bodie, who in that clip just said he failed his drug test. Um, he plays an inmate firefighter and this would throw him out of the program. It will send him back to jail. I am struggling with chronic kidney disease and that has a turn I don't think any of us saw coming. And the marriage, the strongest point that we play is the marriage between Vince and Sharon. And it kind of takes a turn when our son may be going back to jail. That was a really good tease. Thank you. And that marriage and the, and the <laughs> kidney component, that's, I, I felt some type of way when I was watching it too. So yeah. um, that is uh, pretty key. So there are a lot of elements to this show. I mean, it's a pretty intense show. It looks like a very big, big production. So what's it like working on this show? And did you ever expect to have this big of a fan base? Oh gosh, you have so many pilots that you start and you're like, if it could just go. This was the one that was like, oh, this is gonna go for 10 years. This has everything. This has everything CBS. It has the procedural piece. It has the big fire piece. But really, it's a story about character. Mm -hmm. um, it's different than I thought because it's slightly more fun. And I've never been on the number one show. I, it's to feel, the, to feel the full force of the network behind you. And maybe it helps a little bit that we shoot in Vancouver because we're in a bubble. Mm -hmm. We just do each other all the time. Um, it makes a very sweet family. You must be really proud then to be a part of all of that. I'm really proud to be doing a show that my kids can watch. Mm -hmm. So much of my career is like, nope, you can't watch that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't want to watch that. Um, this one feels really nice to be able to share with the family. I love that. Okay, so let's talk about season two. What can people expect? Um, they can expect the writer's strike to need to end <laughs> before we can get back there. We were supposed to start July 5th, mm -hmm. but it's all on hold at the moment. I think like every season two, those characters have to grow. So mm -hmm. if Bodhi is going to have a drug problem or Bodhi has to go back to jail, the whole family dynamic shifts. Mm -hmm. Sharon, love her as I do, is pretty codependent. Her son is right in there in her marriage. So if one of those pieces turn when three people are in a relationship, the whole thing is gonna fall on its head. God, you're really good at these teases. You know, I did have some practice this morning. She's very good. <laughs> Let's talk about behind the scenes. I'm always curious what what you guys are like when you're filming. Um, is anyone more of a jokester? Like, what, what do we have going on behind the scenes? I think the thing that's the most exciting to me is Billy Burke, who plays my husband. We are almost the same age, which never happens in television. <laughs> Every love interest I've ever had is like, 15 to 20 years older than me. <laughs> okay. He and I are both in our 50s. So we not only bring like the same amount of like 
pain and sorrow and heat from our own lives, we also know exactly how we want to do a scene. So Look he and I have to go in there and negotiate against each other, <laughs> which I think brings the most interesting piece because I'm like, I saw this. And he's like, no, I saw that. And we have to sort of fight it out who has the better idea. And it, it just elevates it. I love it. You guys are connected. We already ran out of time, but thank you so much. You guys need to watch the season finale. It is amazing. And don't go anywhere because when we come back, we're talking about more interesting things, right? We're talking about Taylor Swift. Are you st you're sticking around for this, right? Can we get her stick around? Yeah, four C. Okay.